Yo, who's bringing up Proud Family in chat? You're my homie. You're my main homie right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our lovely uh, Saturday weekend stream. It is Saturday, right? Yes, it's Saturday. Okay. <laughs> welcome to the weekend stream, everybody. Uh, I was I was feeling like streaming, you know. Got got out of bed. Uh, had no other plans. I was like, you know what? Why don't I just stream again? Let's just jump into it. I didn't know what I wanted to stream though, and uh, I thought about it for a couple seconds, and then I remembered, hey. Isn't there a group of fucking weirdos who, like, fetishize Gadget from Rescue Rangers or whatever? Chippen Chippendale? So, uh, I looked into that a little bit, and it turned out to be even more content-rich than I was expecting. Firstly, firstly, to, to, to induct you all into this, to, 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 to grant some of my limited knowledge to you, uh, there's actually two weirdo gadget groups and I think they're separate from each other one is just like internet weirdos uh, similar thing to the smurf people uh, not the torture smurf guy but the the like Vic George or whoever um, but then there's like a whole other ass group of people who are in like Russia and they like worship her as a god or something um, I should actually show some pictures here from the the Russian thing. I don't think any of them sadly appeared in the in the intro they were supposed to, but yeah. Uh, don't move that one. Move this one. God damn it! Fucking obi. Uh, okay. So yeah, gadget cult. They uh. They sure do believe this shit. Uh. This is quite something. Uh, there's actually a girl here, so that's very surprising. I know some people in my Discord were pretty shocked by that, but... Yes, hello, comrade! It is I! It's like Revolver Ocelot in his, in his, in his secret pastime that he doesn't want anybody to know about. But yeah, there's like some Russians. Uh, I don't know the context of this picture. I don't know 
what is going on here, but our boys be crusading. We will fight for our right to love the Queen Gadget! Um, as far as I can tell, this is real. As far as I can tell, I don't know. So there's some talk that this the, the Russian arm of this whole gadget fascination, uh, the, the Russian folks, there's some talk that they're like, a, a, just a troll? I don't know. But, uh, the, the, at least the other group that we'll be looking at seems to be very, very real. And dedicated. Uh, but yeah, here's a shrine to our lord and savior. Uh, it's very nice. Very nice. Um... There you go. Um, is there another one here? Yeah... There's this one. Where are boys? It's like, if you squint your eyes, it's almost like Mikhail, Op uh, Mikhail Akafelt composing the next Opeth album. It's, it's, it's beautiful, and then you realize that this is what's happening. They're writing beautiful songs for their queen. Worshipping those feet! Um... Let me see. And of course, there's another one of these. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why they're crusading. I don't know why they've got, like... Aren't the Tiki Torches racist now? I heard that somewhere. Boy, that must be great for that company. Um... But, yeah... Some interesting stuff. Uh, but this is the Russian group. We're going to be looking first into the uh, more international group of people uh, on the internet on a site called uh, a Acorn something. Uh, Acorn Cafe, I think it's called. Hang on. I need a private window to protect myself from all the weird shit. Okay. Yeah, so... Which one should I show first? Hang on. I think I want to sh Oh god, I think I want to show this one first. Oh no. Oh no. Can I show this? Yeah, this will be- I, I think this is- Oh, actually no, I can't show that one. There's at least one picture here I could not show. Uh, probably a couple, if I look more carefully. We got get okay. Well, uh, I'll I know where I can stop scrolling then. Uh, good, very very good transition. Very very nice and hot. Hang on. There you go. So let me just some banjo kazooie music to set the mood. I needed something that was kind of vaguely Disney esque. You know, some something in that. That rain, that rain, that vein. Uh, but anyways, yes, this is the Furfinity page of one Ray Jones, a member since 2005. But he hasn't really been around in about eight years, apparently. He's still around now, but I don't think he uses this site. Or maybe he uses a different account. But Ray Jones is apparently like the, 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 the end-all, be-all ranger file. He's like, he's got fly skills at ranger filing. He's a ranger file master. Um, but, but yeah, he, he, uh, he's been around for quite some time, like over, over 10 years at this point. Uh, and he had, well, gee, way over 10 years. Holy shit. Can't believe 2015 was five years ago. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, he's been around for at least 15 years. Um, but ap apparently, yes, he's one of the more central ranger files. Um, he, like, moderates a forum that we're about to look at, I think. Or at least he's a pretty prominent member, but... Yeah, he's, like, married and has two kids, and he draws porn of his wife. Um, this short, like, kind of homely Mexican lady. Uh, like, in, in like, a, a gadget design. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird, but I don't know if we can look at that. I know where I can stop scrolling on this page. Um, but yes, he's, he's drawing gadget. He's got some weird art here. 
Don't look at it too long. I'm sure something's going to get me demonetized. I should say, by the way, I'm probably not going to be archiving this stream, so you better you better get in it while you can, because, uh, because I think we're going to be turning this one probably into a video. I feel like Gadgetology deserves its own video, uh, or ranger file ranger philia i guess uh this is perhaps one of the weirdest things that i've looked at on youtube or on on uh, since i started my youtube thing and i gotta say i looked up ranger files on youtube there is one video from like six years ago and it is an amv uh, featuring ranger characters uh, I keep wanting to call this character ranger i never watched rescue rangers i was mentioning in the chat before Actually, let's bring up the chat here. This is going to ruin my childhood, isn't it? Oh, honey, if your childhood isn't already ruined, you're doing something wrong. Um, let's see. Sweet anthropomorphic toon mouse booty! Um, those poor children. Yeah, he does have kids. I think they're grown up now. Because this man is like an elderly gentleman. There are, much like Vic George and the uh, the Smurf people, um, there are, for some reason, just a bunch of like elderly old dudes who are like really into cartoon poos. Some 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 sweet sweet cartoon mouse poos. Uh, for some reason, there's just a bunch of old like men who are into that. I was gonna say old white men, and they are all white. But uh, but but I don't know if that's like a defining characteristic, uh, characteristic, you know. Um, but like, yeah, old old white dudes for some reason in their like sixties or later who are really into fucking cartoon animals, cartoon Disney characters and Smurfs and things like that. I guess that's just a thing. I I think it's probably indicative of something a little more than that, you know. But but I'm I don't know. We'll we'll see. But as for the the guy and his kids, yeah, he has kids, and apparently the wife doesn't like him that much or something, because he always talks about, like, he always draws weirdo porn of her, I don't know. We can't look at a lot of that, sadly, uh, because it is just a little too hot for YouTube. Um, but, uh, yeah, we are going to look a little further into this. We've got, like... As you can see here, a conversation between create uh, about creationists and the Bible, and all of this stuff. As an aside, I have read accounts fundamentalists who demanded we believe that men have one less rib than women because Genesis says that man made woman from a rib, bone marrow sample, from Adam, in spite of the fact that ribs can be counted. To that, I would reply that if God molded you out of clay, shouldn't you be covered with giant fingerprints? And this was from eight years ago. So this is our boy, this ranger file guy who wants to fuck a cartoon mouse, allegedly, talking about creationists and the Bible and stuff like that. Uh, very good. You know, I would expect nothing less. So, uh, pay, cl pay close attention to this area on the screen here. Oh, okay, not, not, not that close, though. Uh, I, I said that I knew where to stop scrolling, and I do. And uh, it's right about here. Here is where we stop scrolling. Uh, we got some, some mouse booty here. I know I can show this one. This is fine. There you go. How about that sweet, sweet mouse booty? Very good. Um, but, but yeah, that's a, that's a favorite of this, this man's is, let me take a look here. Let me vet the, uh, let me vet the drawings that this guy's actually done. Hmm. Wow. Okay. This is, uh, in intensely fucking crazy. Uh, shit. Page 54. All right. Well, this seems to be f fine. What the fuck is happening here? Okay. This seems to be f fine. I use that word in the loosest possible sense, but what what is going... Is this one? No, I think this one's fine too. Okay. These... I'm going to say these are safe for work. I'm going to say this is safe for work. Uh, so this guy's art... His comic, I guess, that he's doing about Ranger, it features, like... Uh, honestly, this is pretty cool. These designs are pretty cool. I like this. Um, it's, like, not the best artwork, as you'll see, but the, I don't know, colors are kind of nice. Bah! You have the soul of an accountant! 
Signature or not, she has done no evil, so my hold on her is weak at best. By risking some time, I not only strengthen my claim, but increase my chances of snaring her son as well. What 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 is Okay, well to be fair, we we've jumped ahead into page fifty four here. This is from twenty thirteen. That's interesting. Um but yeah, let's let's see some more of this. Uh I don't understand, Master. You have her signature. Why didn't you just take her there and save the effort and expense of supporting her magic? I don't believe you will ever turn such a soul to evil. I do like the visual design. I like this rainbow shit. That's kind of cool. It is very striking, that's for sure. Um, so, my dear Cynthia Von Doom, now you may truly do as thou wilt. But I'm con confident that you do not need me to remind you to be very, very careful. So, this is some weird, insane, surreal... There's a pentagram, and there's, like... And and there's, like, some f kind of fucking... I, I don't even know how to describe this. This this is, like, some Neon Genesis Evangelion stuff that's happening right now. And there's, like, fucking ga gadget hack wrench just in this. Uh, so that's that's great. Uh, now we no longer need this. Look at these, like, this is kind of cool. I'm not gonna, like, I, it pains me to say this, chat members, but honestly, the visual design of this is, is kind of interesting. I like these weird box. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but just, like, artistically, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. I, 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 I don't hate this. I'm sure he does some weird fucked up things that I don't want to know about, but, uh, you know, at least the... Like, look at the design of this thing. This looks like some kind of fucking near automata boss or some shit. This is crazy and kind of kind of cool. I I can't lie. I wish I, I wish I didn't have to say this right now, but I'm 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 enjoying this art more than I probably should. <laughs> Overwhelming, isn't it? Even with your great natural abilities, you'll need some help, a mentor, a familiar. And then we have fucking Pickle Rick over here. No, that thing is merely a witness. Something less obvious. I don't know what is happening, man. I think we're reading this in backwards order, which is part of it, but I don't think it would make that much more sense, like, in forwards order. I, yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I like whatever it is. <laughs> it's like, this is cool. I want this guy to do some, like, uh, wallpapers for me or something. Uh, Where are my new powers, Mephisto? I don't feel any different. So this isn't Gadget. This is Cynthia Von Doom, apparently. Is this, like, is, is she related to fucking, like, the one from Marvel? Is, is that what's happening? Uh, huh. And we've got, like, this just surrealist. Like the wings of the butterfly, our actions will reverberate down the generations yet to come. And we've got this insane, like, surrealist... It's like, you could look at this and you could be like, oh, this is funny. It's like some weird, funny art that they photoshopped, like, ca like gadget characters. F fucking Rescue Ranger character. Now I'm confusing the names Gadget and fucking ra Rangers and all that. Again, I never saw this cartoon. Uh, I, I think, th I mentioned before in chat there was this one Canadian cartoon. I, I was going to say it before and then I lost my train of thought. There was this one Canadian cartoon that I used to watch. Well, I didn't used to watch it. It was kind of shitty, and I didn't like it. And I thought it was called Rescue Rangers. It was like these big, burly firefighter dudes. And it was, like, kind of, kind of, like, not great. I didn't like it. <laughs> but I thought that was called Rescue Rangers, but apparently that was, like, Rescue Heroes or something. I don't fucking remember that shit, but, but, uh, but, yeah, you know, you, you look at this and you think, oh, it's just some Rescue Ranger, like, art or whatever but this is made so seriously and that's what's fascinating about this is like look at the th this was made with say what you will this was made with some fucking emotion this was made with like i mean shit it's so fucking batshit insane but it was it was you got you got to i don't know it's 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 kind of weird and interesting it's kind of like that one guy henry darger or whatever his name was who the uh, had, had the, the, the down the rabbit hole about him. Uh, it was like decades of drawing like little girls fighting the Christians or something. And it's like weird and fucked up, but you're also kind of like, hmm, it's, it's interesting. It sure came from a place of passion.
power beyond imagination. Is this just like based on a Spider-Man comic or something? Because I know there was the Spider-Man thing with Mephisto. Sign now to have it all. Power beyond belief. Power beyond imagination. Power beyond belief? Hmm. Again, we're reading in backwards order, but I don't think it matters that much. What the fuck is this? It's like the f the fucking furry convention. It's 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 like the fucking furry royal meetup, the the, the furry royal palace. All the f all the fucking furry generals and 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 fur furs maids are, are are in are in tow. Nothing could be people of what various so this is just some weird marvel shit this is some weird marvel crossover with like huh huh okay well that's interesting why else did you summon me poor frightened helpless little gypsy huh yeah, okay. So that's an that's well we've got one more here. There's a swastika for some reason. Buchenwald! Have you heard Cynthia Von Doom how they use gypsy children to test the lethal Zyklon B gas crystals? Why is why is fucking gadget here? Why are there Nazi things happening right now? But let the screams of the dead children fade back into the silence of the grave, Cynthia Von Doom, for you have more personal terrors to face. And then we've got like a historical note about Nazis and fucking death gas. After all, where can you and your family be safe? Where in all this earth can you find haven? Who am I? How can I help you? Except in the power I can give you. All right, well, that's enough of that. So, yes, this is one of the main... If you're just joining us, this man that we're looking at here is one of the main, like, gadget aficionados. And I just wanted to show something kind of interesting and visual to get us off to a good start. But before... But 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 next, we're going to be looking at the, the, the forum for... See, I've got a few things here. There's also a fucking Russian live journal for the cult people, apparently. We're going to have to translate that. And then Ray Jones has some more, like, threads, or some more pages, rather, like, websites. In fact, there is this one. Again, this is the same guy we were just looking at. Welcome, everybody. Just come right on in. Just watch your step. We're still heavily under construction. Uh-huh. 2004 Lifetime Achievement Award. So this guy's been around for at least since 2004. Before it was since 2005 at least, but now it's at least 2004. And 2002? This guy has been deep in the minds of gadgetology for fucking a long time. Uh, so, so what's new here? I, I was going to show this forum, but now I just want to see more of this fucking weird shit. This is this guy's website, I guess. Introduction. Why a, why a website about a decade-old Disney cartoon show? More specifically, why another website about a decade-old Disney cartoon show? Well, maybe not long ago, or maybe ages past, we were all shiny and new. Our eager and impressionable young brains looked out through our eyes, listened out through our ears, and felt out through our skins at a vast... I don't like the term skins. At a vast, exciting world all around us. We may have had friends, we may have had toys, we may have had parents or siblings, and we may have had city streets or backyards or parks, um, but all we all had imagination. Uh, as children, we fell in love with stories and characters. Uh, Tarzan, the fox and the crow, or the mouse musketeers. We wove them into our games, blah, blah, blah. They opened our eyes to the possibility that there could be something, something. They're gone. Oh, sure, a few decades like Batman and... Or a few standards like Batman and Superman go on. Yes, there are always new characters waiting their turn on stage. Old newspapers and magazines molder in archives and attics. Old films lie unviewed in storage vaults. But can you put your hand on sights 
and sounds that were defining moments in your life when you were six or eight or ten or when you were 30 or 40 for that matter does anybody out there remember space mouse or spaceman comic books uh most of it was dreck um but why the rescue rangers in particular for those of you not familiar with the series, and far more information can be found on the web ring. Guys, remember web rings? Isn't that quaint? Isn't that just the quaintest thing? Which I hope you will check out. There are five main characters, Chip and Dale, chipmunks. We're already established uh, and were probably meant to be the draw. Monterey Jack, Monty, a mouse, is the oldest of the group and acts as both muscle and father figure. He brings along his friend Zipper, a fly, and introduces... Chip and Dale to the real star of the show. All right, I'm biased. It's my introduction. Gadget Hack Wrench. Gadget is a gorgeous little lady mouse who also happens to be a world-class scientific and engineering genius. Of her background, we know that she is beautiful, brilliant, home, and self-educated, and had a very tragic childhood. There's a vast amount of fan fiction available on the web ring on this subject. Some of it pretty grim. Oh my god. It, it really is just fucking Vic George all over again. Even more unusual is Foxglove the Bat, not strictly a ranger and the youngest of the group. She has a crush on Dale and uh, has been accepted by the fans with open arms or wings. She has her own websites and figures pro prominently in fan fiction and art. Uh, wait, 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 hang on. All this is more astonishing, astonishing since she only appeared in one episode. We're talking about this bat character or gadget huh by whatever stroke of accident or planning the rescue rangers emerged as a group of characters and relationships capable of bearing an almost unbelievable depth and range of literary and artistic symbolism i don't know if artistic is the word you might want to change one of the letters around uh by chance or design they are among the most real of all disney's creations and when the show, well, they're a lot more fucking real than the live action Lion King, I'll tell you that much. Uh, and when the show was canceled and dis oh my god, I just thought about live action fucking ra like Rescue Rangers, Chip and Dale. Oh god, that's, I, I, I'm not going to think about that anymore. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, but, but yeah, Disney's creations. And when the show was canceled and disappeared from the air, especially for currently Toon Disney, which has an abysmally limited distribution, they were just too good to die. They escaped into cyberspace and were welcomed into the computers of fans quite literally all over the world. Check out the fantastic work being done on the Russian sites. So is that him talking about the fucking weirdo cult th that we talked about before? Uh, the Russian sites. The Rangers are now the centerpiece of one of the most active and most creative fan bases ever. You will find art galleries and libraries of original fan fiction you will find historical research archives worthy of being master's dissertations. Uh, oh, okay, even original musical scores. I myself became a ranger file watching the show with my own two boys as they were growing up. The quality of animation, the highly complex and mem... Can you imagine you're like a kid and you're watching cartoons with your dad and the one... The one... You, your, your brother, and your father are in this room and the one of you that walks out of the room that has a crush on one of the cartoon mouse characters is your father can you believe that i can't that's that would be incredible that's that is a setup for a sitcom right there uh but he uh you know was into the complex and memorable characters and the often bizarre and always original stories impressed him greatly i missed them when disney pulled the show but naturally gradually forgot about them over time it was a real jolt when I saw Gadget again in the theater release of Aladdin. She had a split-second cameo when Genie was putting Abu through a series of transformations. Unfortunately and unforgivably, these few seconds were cut from the home releases. Not long after that, I began to access the internet and found my surprise that there were sites with information on the Rangers on the web. So this would have been, like, when? So he, he was 51 years old when he wrote this. When did he write this, is the question. This is the introduction on his site. So this was a quite a long time ago. This would have been in like the early 90s or some shit. Yeah, the theater release of Aladdin is like 94 or something, maybe? 
So that was like way back in the day. So this is like old internet shit. This shit predates the internet for the most part. When I saw what people were doing, I felt that I had to become part of it. At the moment I'm typing this, I'm 51 years old and have accomplished most of the things men are expected to do. I have graduated from college and am and from a professional program, medical technology. I have become experienced and successful in my line of work. I have married and, with my wife, raised two children who are now in college themselves. I have reached a point in life where I have earned the right to look inside myself and recognize what I like and what I want to do. See, this is an older, wiser Sonic who knows that what he likes. He, he likes to put the beans on it, and he likes, the, he likes feet. Um, so... Yeah, he's he's recognizing what he likes, what he wants to do, and not caring a whit what anyone else thinks about it. Now, wow, he really is an old man. I've never heard the word wit. Uh, but uh, now in my declining years, I am taking a new vo uh, avocation, learning to work on the web, to write, to draw, and otherwise cultivate long dormant talents in celebration of the Rescue Rangers. My goal with this new site are twofold. My goals with this new site are twofold. One is to provide a sort of deranged good humor. Huh. In coming months, you'll see the Rangers in some decidedly different situations. The other goal is more serious. The Rescue Rangers have all but disappeared from Disney promotions. Few people think about them anymore. My contribution to trying to correct this deficiency I call Gadget Bites. Uh-huh. Sketches by Gadget and the Rangers. Explaining the ideas of modern society. Okay, this is this is this is interesting. Let's let's continue. Gallery of latest artworks. Hang on, hold on. Can't show that on YouTube. Well, we might be able to show show that on YouTube, but uh let's see. Okay, there's actually nothing. Oh no, there there's some stuff. Gadget running by. Okay, so the latest the latest artworks on this page are dated 2006. I think I can show this. Yeah, this is fine. I can show this. But the latest artworks, as you'll see here, 2006. So if we can take the term, and also this is a tripod website, so that's certainly interesting, but We've also got old art galleries. What's going on in these? Jesus, there's old? This is exactly like Vic George. I wonder if these people... What would happen if those two wound up in a... If this guy and Vic George wound up in a room together? That would be very exciting. That, that would be incredibly exciting. Rangers behaving badly. Oh, uh, let's... Hang on. Hold on. No, uh, I, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, God. What? Okay, I still don't know what's going on here, but this picture is strictly satire. The Rangers would never erase Fat Cat's mind and reboot his brain from a can of spam. At least I don't think they would. What? What? I'm going to check the chat here. Ha have any of you, like, seen enough of this show to tell me if this makes sense or not? Was this a thing in the show? Was Does this make sense? This guy and Rock Gorge get together and make the world... I, I like that name, Rock Gorge. It's good. What the fuck? This ain't it. This is totally fetish stuff. CBT, cock and ball torture. I'm just wondering if this makes sense with the like show. Or if this is like the kind of shit that happened on the show. I don't know. We need a fanfic of Gadget getting pregnant and cannibalizing her babies. I mean, we haven't even gotten to the fan fiction yet, dude. We haven't even gotten to the forum yet, dude. We haven't even gotten to the second forum yet. This is going to be a long one. Buck buckle up, Homestuck. I didn't eat lunch. I didn't eat lunch today, so I'm uh, not feel I'm not man, this was actually a bad idea. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll eat a big dinner. I'll make some spaghetti, some spagort. It'll be good. Uh, Ranger files are ancestors of bronies and Loud House fans. Yeah, that's the most exciting thing about this. You know, I find this stuff and it's like, this dates back to before the internet. Before, like, any of this shit. And it's like, we thought, for the longest time, we thought that the brony thing was like this unexplainable, weird, bizarre phenomenon. But it turns out the brony thing is just like the, the mainstream... The the, bro, the brony thing is like the, the fucking blockbuster version of... 
you know, weird cartoon obsession. It's it's the it's the the Hollywood blockbuster. It's the big one that everybody talks about, but then it does nobody mentions the 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 small indie foreign foreign films that that fed into that crazy obsession, which that's what this is. This is the this is the foundation of crazy bullshit on the internet. The stuff like goes back. I think Vic George still predates this though because if I recall correctly, he had fan fictions dating back to fucking like 1984 or something. So that's absolutely insane. That is incredibly absurd. But I mean, I guess this guy at least has his fascination with gadget at least extends back into like the early days of the like the early 90s internet, you know? Somebody just writes in all caps mouse vagina. I read that as me- megalovania actually. Um, we're the rats. We're the ranger files. Welcome to the terror dome. Uh, Pooh's adventures in Rangerphilia. That could be interesting. Spagort. Uh, this is why World War Three is happening. And I agree with that. Let's uh, return to return to the things here. Halloween. Actually, does, was there a date on that? There wasn't. Uh, there was no date on this. That's unfortunate. Halloween two thousand though. So this is quite old. This is amazing. Just just amazing. Uh so that's 2000. My first gadget. This is my first ever drawing of gadget and was the main page logo for my original RR website. Oh, that's great, dude. Good job. How how old do you think this picture is? This is probably from like the mid to late 90s, I would say. Gadget hugs her father, Giga. Well, a young Monty watches in the background. Yeah, this is just too... I'm sorry. I know you're, like, old and you did all the things, like you said. Oh, I have a wife and I'm accomplished in my career. I don't care. I'm sorry. There's something deeply un-okay. Un- 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 There's something deeply wrong with a grown person who's, like, assign- uh, attributing this much, like, emotional depth to a cartoon that's made for like toddlers i'm sure rescue rangers is fine but like even like my favorite cartoon if i was an 87 year old man and i was fucking standing and doing weird art of like the weekenders yeah the weekenders was fucking great dude and it's actually topical because a bunch of fucking weirdos do that shit for uh, Pooh's Adventures. I don't understand. I guess at least Weekenders lives on there in that community. But but yeah, Weekenders was fucking great, dude. But if I was like 75 years old and I was like drawing fucking this shit, well, this isn't even so bad. But like the ones like that are like this, that are like emotional cartoon characters. Bitch, this is a cartoon for five-year-olds. Something is not right in your head. You need help. Allegedly. Uh, uh, anyways. A little prank. It's just a prank, bro. How much does a mouse weigh? Oh, I don't like the looks of it. It looks like she's fucking impaled on a spike. Oh, God. Okay, well. Hmm. Shade tree house mechanic. One mouse at can fix anything. Uh... And she's fixing, like, a spaceship. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's enough art. Let's see. A very bad poem to a very good mouse. Uh Uh-oh. A friend I know winnowing down his stuff before he moves to some place far remote gave me some cast-off fluff, some junk he didn't wish to tote. Amongst the books and Star Wars glasses... A cardboard box I met, all filled with heavy rattling mas- masses, the remains of an old mechano set. I tipped it over and spilled Uh huh. Uh huh. But now, when I sleep at night, I keep beside my bed where golden lamplight streams, a box of plastic parts and of metal bright. That might perhaps please the gadget of my dreams. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, keep in mind, so far we've looked at the, the, the adventures of one man. All of this in one man. This, is, this has been one dude. 
with the art and the poetry. <laughs> you know, it's like poetry. It rhymes. And the all of this stuff has been just one guy so far. Um, what do we got here? Jones Scientific Rescue Ranger comic book. Wall Mural. Oh my good lord. Did he do this in his house? Oh god. It's like you come over to this guy's place and you're like, oh, look at the nice child. Look at the kids' room. Oh, hey, why is there like, like aftershave over there and like old man stuff? <laughs> oh, this isn't the kids' room. Oh, okay. I understand. Um, what's the number for CPS? Uh, let's see here. April's Christmas ornaments. Gadget bites. What's what is this? Welcome to gadget. Oh God, what the fuck? Biology and medicine. Ga Disney's cleverest mouse gadget hack wrench explains. Well, that doesn't seem like there's a lot of competition in this category. I gotta say, like, how many mouse? Actually, no. It is. It is Disney. There are a number of mouses, m mice, mices. Uh, explains puzzling technical questions and expounds on the latest scientific theories and advances. Note that Gadget Hack Wrench and Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers are copyright Walt Disney and used here without permission. Can somebody cue up the fucking San Andreas theme song real quick? Just like, this is some gangster shit. This is in no way to be constructed or construed as any attempt to infringe on the Disney copyright. So, biology and medicine. What omics and ologies. Hi, Gadget Hack Wrench here. It used to be thought that the expression of information encoded in DNA was rather straightforward. Now we know that it's more complicated. We'll talk about some of the new fields of study that affect medicine and explain some of the new words that you're seeing in scientific literature. DNA, mRNA, aren't they like a group that hates women or something? Protein. Wow, there's a lot of this. Page 14. What the fuck is this creature? Self-sustaining chain reaction. Page 15. Another important proteins, another important way proteins are modified after translation is by, okay. Right, okay, well, what is this one? Biomedical sciences. Teach me about gas chromatography. It seems like you have some experience with, with gas based on your artwork. Uh, gas chromatography. So this is just like a scientific document, but it has a fucking Disney mouse. And this was drawn completely fucking straight-faced. That is that is intense. Electro electrophoresis. There's no denying that this is a smart individual, but so was fucking Terry A. Davis. Mathematics. You can't divide by zero. Most everybody who can talk can tell intuitively whether something they hear is a real sentence or not. This is a real sentence. This is a real sentence. Is not a real sentence. Why not? It's made out of perfectly good letters and punctuation marks, but the way that they're put together doesn't mean anything. It's gibberish. Um, well, in math, an equation is a lot like a sentence. So, uh huh. Uh huh. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I think we get the point. This guy's doing like scientific articles about fucking. like DNA and fucking mathematics. And it features this cartoon mouse from Disney. That uh, it's, it's great. That is great. Um, in memoriam, Joseph Andrew Joseph Bell. Oh, don't fucking don't dishon don't disrespect this poor man by oh Jesus, that's very sad. Uh, logo contest from two thousand one. Oh, a ten dollar prize, dude! I'm in for that. I could do. I could use ten dollars. Uh, I can think of at least five uses for $10 right now. Gallery of latest... Okay, well, I think that's enough of this website. Let's take a look over at the forum, like I mentioned before. I was going to look at this first, actually, because this is kind of the mecca of the uh, of the Ranger File group. But uh, I wanted to... I wanted to look into this, and then I just got a little bit... I got a little bit uh, down the, the Ray Jones rabbit hole. That was very interesting. Um, GA Awards Anniversary... The Cafe Foyer. So this is the Acorn Cafe, which if you Google search Acorn Cafe, you're going to find like 7,000 Acorn Cafes from different like countries um, and cities and things. <clears throat> Before we get started here, though, 
Let me take a look here. Two dollars from Jesterhead. Send the Ranger files into the front lines of Iran. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, seems like they could hold their own. Uh, Deathkeeper X with five dollars. Ruin my childhood, Claw. I mean, if you ask me to. Two bucks from uh, JD1989. Put this on BitChute, Shoot, Claw. Man, uh, some one of these days I might have to look at Bit Shoot at some of the weird shit that people put on there. Because there are people like Medicare who have no choice but to use BitChute Shoot because YouTube are made up of of uh, very exceptional individuals at the highest levels. But but you know then there's a lot of in interesting folks on BitChute, Shoot, just like Gab or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Um, two bucks from Strange Parallels. Got to run, but thank you, Bearson. Uh, you're you, you, you're welcome, and uh, I hope you enjoy the inevitable video that that. Well, she's gone at this point, but it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, two bucks from uh, Spooky Nerdy Skellington. Uh, Mephistopheles comes from Faust, Deadwing Pleb. There was Mephisto, though, in Spider-Man, wasn't there? I, I know about Faust. I remember the Red Letter Media, uh, the, be the, the best of the worst about Faust. That was pretty cool. Had like a tit puddle monster. Cool, cool stuff. Uh, five bucks from Rooted Onion. Thanks for looking up fucked up shit so I don't have to. Hello, I'm the Deadwing Critic. Oh, God, I'm never doing that again. Um, five bucks from Aya Bray. Give us more singing, sexy claw daddy. That was delightful. Uh, well, you know, sadly, this is an early stream today. I, I appreciate that, but this is an early stream today, so I don't, I'm not going to be getting liquored up for this one, so probably not too much more singing. Uh, but thank you. Uh, two, two dollars are from behind you i don't feel so fantastic i feel fantastic hey 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 all right well uh let's see here the ra new ranger files report here first the place for greeting threads rules of the cafe and back we got storyboard off topic archives and things the realm of fanon Oh no, they're talking about ponies. There's not many threads on this one though, so I guess nobody really cares that much, but all all other fandoms are 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 just not they just don't even compare to Ranger Files. Um it's interesting that they actually call themselves Ranger Files apparently. I was assuming that that was like a derogatory term by people that don't like them, but I guess it's kind of like Eggman in Sonic Adventure 2. He went from fighting the name Eggman, and then he was just like, ah, fuck it. My name is Dr. Eggman. I am the greatest scientist. As you can see here, by the way, I don't know if anybody noticed this, but we do have off-topic archives. And from 2005, we got a, a post from Ray Jones. So from quite some time ago, Ray Jones was on the site. But let's take a look at the just the Acorn Cafe, the main... Well, actually, the off-topic is really, really bumping over here. We'll have to take a look at that. But what's the main page here? And uh, should we create an MLP sub forum? So some, a lot of these are old. There's some old fucking threads here uh, from like, from like 2012 and shit. I guess that's not that old by by uh, you know this website standards. People for like 2005, but even still, there's somebody down there named John Matrix. Your name. Um, the Rescue Ranger Collective. Best screenshots ever. What is this? I figured I'd start something semi-new on the ranger front. Basically, this thread will be to the rangers as the herd derpin thread is to ponies. You find some type of fan creation, be it art, cosplay, fan fiction. Okay. So, right. That's cool. R realistic, uh, realistic rescue rangers. It's very good. Uh, best screenshots ever. CDRR if, reboot if it happened. These people are just, like, obsessing over their fictional, hopeful reboot of their show. How old are the Rangers? I need to make sure they're not too old. Fat Cat Goons backstories. Rescue Rangers good news and bad news humor. What What is this? From 2006. Uh, what the fuck is this? Good news and bad news. Chip, good news. The other rangers officially recognize your leadership skills and intelligence in a public forum. 
bad news, it's your memorial. So, okay, so this is just kind of... Huh. Okay, so this is... Just some fucking spurgery. Uh, wow, there's 46 pages of this. Holy shit. Ranger Files. Good news. New Re Rescue Rangers comics. Bad news. It's a Mad Magazine special edition. Uh, what? What the fuck? This this thread went from no. This this thread went from no post since 2011, and then just here it is in October of 2019. Huh. And th this guy, Midnight Man, he has a post here like a week later after the thread gets bumped. He has a post. And he had a post in 2011. This guy's just sitting here on this forum every day for like 10 years. And then he sees that somebody bumped the thread that he was in 10 years ago or whatever. That like, gee Jesus Christ. Wow. All right. That's, that's some stuff. Um, new details confirmed for upcoming Rescue Rangers film. Uh, uh, uh huh. Oh god, is this actually happening? Oh god, is this actually happening? Oh no, the live action se Oh no, I was joking! Oh my god! Uh oh! No, I'm getting off of that page. We're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen. Holy shit, that is a bad idea. Wow, uh, okay. Let, let's see here. 3D printer for the Rangers. Ask a stupid question thread. What have you done today to grow the Rangerdom? When I was a Boy Scout, said that we were supposed to end our day each day by asking yourself, have we lived up to the Scout code today? I should like to employ the same technique, if I may, to our dear cafe, to the rangerdom, our core sites, and the rescue rangers fandom. Ambitious, eh? What, what is this supposed to be? This is from Mr. Spumoni, by the way. Scungili Spumoni. Um, therefore, whenever you get the opportunity to, to participate in guerrilla ranger awareness activities, let us know. And then we got the fucking... B blur emoji i guess i'll go first yesterday in 2007 mind you i went to the apple store in crossgates mall in albany new york while there i changed the default home page on all the iphones to the cafe start page oh god today i s when asked to help set up a dvd system in front of a crowd i said this should work when we were all done Is that like a quote from the show saying this should work? Is that a thing? Is that not just like a thing people say when something should work? Oh god, there's a pony person. I left the county library's catalog computer sitting in the cafe today. Numerous public computers pointed at the cafe in times past. Well, I've been surfing DeviantArt for Ranger picks. Hey, it's Ray Jones. It's our boy. It's our boy. This is in 2007, by the way. I always leave the link to the latest calendar when requesting permission, so a few people ought to see it. Can we find more posts from this guy? No, we can't. Pro profile. Yes, we can. Ah, fucking hell. We need a f we need an account. I'm not. I'm not making an account. I rangered up a game of RimWorld. FF. Of rescue rangers. Uh huh. Okay. I want to take a look now at some choice threads that I found on the Encyclopedia Dramatica about ranger files. Which, by the way, is like the only resource on the internet for ranger files. I don't even think there's a Kiwi Farms thread. Like, this is some old shit. And for the most part, the fandom's not that, like, popular anymore. Because there's not that many fucking people left who still remember rescue rangers. But, uh... I, I don't know, man. There's like there's one fucking video about this shit from like six years ago. But here is a post from Ray Jones. The new Tinkerbell movie from 2008 
mind you. Why am I posting about the new Tinkerbell movie here instead of on the off-topic board? Because Disney has transplanted Gadget's brain into Tinkerbell's body. I'm not kidding. I always understood that Tinkerbell was a derivative of Tinkle Bell, and uh, bells were sometimes used to indicate fairy voices. But in this new production, they take it literally. Tink is a tinker fairy and a rather ditzy inventor. Unlike the nature fairies, her department serves as a role support role for the other fairy departments. Uh huh. Having just been created by a baby's first laugh, Tink is assigned her new post. She finds the routine work boring but becomes fascinated with trying to make something out of some human junk she finds. She wants to visit the human world to see where these fascinating springs and screws come from, but Tinker Fairies do not do that. Uh, uh Uh-huh. One last attempt at changing jobs ruins the the fairy's preparations for spring, and she nearly runs away after a last-minute change of heart. She starts churning out a series of new inventions to accelerate the other fairies' work, all of which work exactly as planned. Sound familiar? It's a pretty good movie overall. Uh, so he's saying that this Tinkerbell character in this movie is very similar to... Gee, maybe it's almost like your mouse waifu is just like a fucking character archetype that's not that special that a lot of you know, cartoon characters are like. Maybe, maybe that's... Uh, er, okay. See, even the people on this forum think this guy's fucking bonkers. It sounds like there's a chance I could buy it re- as really being Tink. But it also sounds like the continuous politically correct rework of everything did. What? What are you going off about, bitch? Hey, I liked the homicidally jealous Tink. What? What is happening? I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with this movie or really Tinkerbell all that much in general, but we got pony people. So, you know, that's all you need, frankly. Um, let's, let's take a look now at this one. You know, your obsession for gadget gets abnormal when a spinoff of the, uh, this is this, this dude again from before a spinoff of the already legendary overdoing list. This is one is for you gadget files out there. You know your obsession for Gadget gets abnormal when you stay single because she's your one true love. Well, it's just called being a waifu. A waifuist. Uh, you stay single because there are no human females who resemble her enough. Or you stay single because nobody wants to be around you because you're a weirdo who wears, like, Gadget clothes and, like, does Gadget thing. Like, mm. uh, a friend finds it out, asks you about your thing for her, and your first reaction is an excited denial. No! followed by a confession under tears after not more than two minutes. Our registered user, Gadget Hackwrench, gets personal Valentine's greetings from you every year. For the newbies who don't know her yet, so does Natasha Gadget Ortiz, just in case. Wait, so there's like two people on the site who are like pretending to be Gadget, I guess? And these thirsty weirdos like slide in her dms it's probably some dude but huh okay your fan fictions include yourself as a self-insert rodent character feature chip plus tammy and dale plus foxglove and never show sparky so your character's way to gadget is free you've you've broken the record for the most gadget clones in one fan fiction you wish you could log in at the acorn cafe and never log out again to stay your animal self forever oh god Your anti, just because. What does that mean? Or you're only pro because you've realized that Gadget would rather be with Chip than with you, and you don't want to make her sad for your own advantage. Not even... There is no one in real life you can talk to more than your Gadget plushie. Not even at the Acorn Cafe. You sometimes wait for three minutes until your gadget plushie has finished her silent imaginary ramble. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what to tell you, but I think they should have medicated you a few years before before this became a thing. Before this started happening, you might have needed some medication. At this point, I don't think you can get help, but man, okay. 
You've been accused of rat worship. You get incensed at that as Gadget is a mouse. You still get infuriated at Inspector Gadget even, even after all these years because, well, just look at the name. That's all for now. God bless Obi-Wan Maplewood. You walk around wearing blue goggles. Uh, huh. Angels are blonde mice. My two cents, it's about me again. If you make a cartoon with Gadget, even if you're not an animator, you have learned to draw for many years in various places for only one purpose. To draw, draw, draw Gadget. Huh. Is this a fucking pony based on... Oh, God. Is this a pony based on my life as a teenager? Oh, no. We're scrolling past that. Hey, it's Ray Jones. Oh, God. What is this? You write stuff like this? Phantasmagoria Gadgetica, part one, by Ray Jones. Not rain. Just slow, listless drizzle. Not dark, but the lights of the neon signs. And the shop windows. Seems tired. Seems tired? The shop windows seems tired. So it's, you're starting out strong, bro. Job's done for the day. Back home, books and magazines. Wait on the table. To be read. On another table, blank sheets of paper, waiting for lines and light and shadows and dreams of her. But tonight, the rooms are too quiet, too empty. Walk down by the river walk. There, people walk past. Couples on the other side of the zero point. On the graph, small groups of young men swagger, displaying for small groups of young women. The latter giggle or roll their eyes. They all pass out of sight. Sometimes a disheveled mutterer drifts by. Ghosts too, maybe. Light drizzle, not rain. A few people sit at tables under awnings and drink coffee. Or beer. Or expense. What am I... What is this? Exact, is this Is this supposed to be poetry? Is this... I? It doesn't rhyme. It doesn't have any, like, stanzas or anything. Like, this is... What is this? It's like a... It's, it's kind of like a, a haiku, except it's not a haiku. Oh, okay. Uh, let's continue. Just over there in concrete banks is the river. Lights from the restaurants. The stands, the shops and lampposts, fall on the river. Something down there in the dark and the wet grabs the lights, tears them to pieces, throws the shreds back up to the surface, like confetti. Like a Twinkie, like a Twinkie. Back at home, with infinite patience, empty, silent, rooms, wait. Light drizzle catches in one's hair, tickles one's face, speckles the glasses. Jesus Christ, this is long. Pause under a street lamp. Wipe away, said speckles. Replace the glasses. Now a shape stands, just at the periphery of vision. Short, anonymous, in a dark gray raincoat, with the big hood pulled up over its head. Walk on. In the drizzle, the figure walks beside, silent. Hips sway beneath the, oh god, here we go, beneath the plastic sheet, glance to the side. Hard to be sure from the glare and the, uh-huh. Pink. Oh god, it keeps going. Uh, another, another block down, the huge old tree rises up to nearly fill the space between the buildings. Its roots have pushed askew some of the great stone blocks, which make the base of the stone bridge over the river there. Okay. Your skin goes goose goosebumps. Your heart squirms in your chest. 
nothing to do but turn, nothing to do but turn and look. Her smile, those big blue eyes, deep as space and glowing with intelligence and good humor. It's her. Impossible, of course. No way. Her delicate little muzzle, pink nose. Her grin shows just a little of the incisors. But does it not bother this man at all that this that this is a mouse? Does it not? Does he not think about that? Is that a part of it, or does he just not? Does that just not play into it at all? Because he's obviously very clearly describing a mouse. This is not a human character. This is a mouse. So it's like, isn't there a character basically exactly like this? By the way, in fucking uh, Sly Three, there's like a mouse character, Penelope, I think was her name. She turned into a fucking villain in Sly 4. Boy, that was that ever dumb. Anyways. Um, of course it's her. This mystic knight. Cool. Drizzle. Light and shadows. Full of magic. Of course it's her. Golly, aren't you going to invite a girl to a cup of coffee? You should be flustered. Sure, but you dreamed of her. Thought of her. So long. So long that you've grown comfortable with her. Uh, of course, sure. How about the shop? A oh. How about the shop a couple of blocks down? The bakery? They have the best pastries to go with coffee. You know that place? It's one of the best. I know. I've gone there with you before. Uh, before? I walked this river walk with you on other nights. When we were both lonesome. I felt better walking with you. Even if you couldn't see me. And I know you felt better too. She held out her hand. Three fingers and a thumb. Small but strong. Did he even notice that your companion wasn't human? The, the, the sleepy clerk. Apparently nobody else seems surprised. Doesn't augur well for your sanity, does it? So I guess he knows that it's a little fucking weird that he wants to, like, bone a mouse. Uh... Past caring about that now, pull out her chair. She seats herself. She pulls up the back of her raincoat and her tail curls out from underneath. You can see she's barefoot. Are you cold? You ask. No, I'm fine. My feet, you mean? Yeah, feet! It's okay. I'm made for this. I'm comfortable. Meanwhile, she's pulled back the hood of her raincoat. It's her. The vast mane of golden hair hemmed in by... Hemmed in on top by her big ears and her goggles, and below by her raincoat, no one seems to care. She sips her coffee, she nibbles her pastry, full of strawberry filling. This was the first meal we shared together, do you remember? You read that story years ago. A silly fantasy about a human rescuing me from a plane crash. What? Nursing me back to health in a warm box? First time I looked over the edge of the box and saw him... He was drinking coffee and eating pastry. When he saw me awake, he offered me a piece. I climbed out of the box with it and gestured for some coffee in a soft drink cap I picked up. We've been together ever since you read that. Oh god, what is this? She licked some of the icing from her lips. Not one of these gross, overdone things in comedies. Just the least flash of pink. A delicate and restrained gesture. Gesture. Calgesta. Gadget? She smiles. Her muzzle wrinkles slightly. I don't want to lose this moment, but you can't be real. Your voice cracks with sadness. Oh, okay. You can't be real. Look outside. Look at the darkness. Is darkness real? It's not something. It's the absence of something. Light. How can darkness be real if it's the lack of something that is real? Light. Eventually you will have to go back home. Your rooms are silent and empty. Silence is absence of sound. Emptiness the absence of feeling and joy. How can those things be real? But do you doubt they're real? She takes another sip of her coffee, softly. Do you want me to be real, metaphysical contradictions and all? Yes! Her eyes seem to grow more moist. Thank you. Sometimes I get lonely. Lonely? What about the boys? Oh, despite all the fan fictions, there isn't anything there. 
Dale's pretty much taken with Foxglove, and to be honest, Chip's not my type. He's too controlling, honestly, and I can't hold a conversation with him. One sentence about RNA, Rebo switches, organic semiconductors, or computer algorithms, and he's changing the subject. There might have been something with Sparky, but, well, when I'm walking with you or posing for your drawings, I feel natural, like I'm at home. I think we need each other, and your donut's going to get stale. Before, the drizzle was sad, melancholy, but now her hand is in yours as you walk. Now the drizzle is something to cherish, to celebrate. It wraps the... I'm, I'm just going to keep reading this until it's done. Like, I'm surprised how long this is, uh, but it wraps the two of you, almost pushing you together. You come to the big stone stairs that lead up the street. Traffic noises filter down, a faint but discordant jangle. Intrusions from a less happy world. Gently, your companion pulls you to the side of the big block, topped with a stone sphere that guards the bottom steps. I can't go up with you just yet. Soon, but not yet. No, don't ask. There's no explaining it. Just promise me. Please, promise me. Promise me you'll keep me in your heart. I don't know who's talking, but I promise. And she leans back against the stone. Her eyes are half-closed, and her mouth... Her mouth half... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Here we go. Her mouth half open. Lean forward, afraid, needful, shaking. Her muzzle is quite small, but she ha has to tilt her head up, and you have to turn yours to the side before your lips can come together. Trembling with passion, you kiss. Uh... You're close to panic. Should you press harder, show her more passion? Should you kiss lightly, respectfully, not risk turning her off by being too regressive? Uh, her eyes are closed. You press your cheek to hers. Oh no. The drizzle, the drizzle falls softly and slowly all around you. You are alone. But not really. Promises have been made, and you mean to keep yours. Yeah, well, some people don't always keep their promises. The river walk to your back. You start up the old stone stairs, and it makes you feel good to the very core of your soul that you wrote something like that. What do you think, chat? What's going on in the chat? What's happening? What's going on, chat? I'll email you a burger. Hmm. What size is the rat? Nuts in ranger file. Uh, officially freaked out. Panic. He did it, boys. This is how the plague started. Dear God, stop reading. Hey, I read through the whole Smurf thing. I think I can do some fucking old dude kissing a, a rat. It's going to be Vor. Stop it. Oh, geez. That would have been a happy ending. It had been edging since before the stream. Well, there you there you go, big boy. Um, hello, Bane. Welcome to, the, welcome to the shit show, Bane. By the way, I called you out on stream last night when I was drunk, and I said that you need to, you need to incorporate the Bane posting more into your, <laughs> into your videos. We need to make, we need to establish Bane posting for the new decade. It's very important that the new generation, the Zoomers are not going to remember what Bane posting is, and that's a crime. That is literally against the law. Don't look that up. Have you met the Sanic fans? Oh man, Sonic is so beneath me at this point. Like, Sonic is like entry level weird shit on the internet. Sonic and ponies. And then you know the you know the iceberg meme where it goes further down and it starts out with like the, 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 the most normal video games and then at the bottom it's like worlds.com and fucking like Russian satellite simulations or something. Uh, yeah, that's basically what this is. We're we're approaching the bottom of the iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. Sonic stuff. Yeah, there's crazy Sonic people. Of course there's crazy Sonic people. Why wouldn't there be crazy Sonic people? But 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 fucking gadget people, Smurf people? What's next? Felix the cat? I I I I shudder to guess. Uh It's getting kind of steamy. Come to the stairs. Is this going to end in porn? Honestly, would it have been worse if it ended in porn? So what's the... What is the reaction to this post? 
Great, great work, Ray. Where is this story from, he asks. Thank you. I sent you a PM about it being an old experimental piece. I was working out what sort of changes might occur if the group dynamics in the group dynamics if Chip and Dale married Tammy and Foxy and Gadget was left mostly alone. Yeah, I bet you fucking did. Some parts in the cafe some parts are outside the cafe guidelines, however. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I do not understand this abnormal obsession with gadget concept. Are you trying to imply you can think about her too much? Beautiful piece, Ray. And then there's like an evil smiley face. I don't like that. That was downright beautiful, Ray. Not only that, I'd wager a largely respectable portion of our fellow gadgetophiles can relate. Raise his hand. To add to the growing list whether you're neither pro nor anti so i think what that refers to is there's like a group of weirdos like a subset of weirdos uh who are like strictly against gadget porn i don't know i feel like if anything that's more that's a little scarier that's a little scarier for some reason because i feel like that's just repressing what's obviously there at least if you're drawing the gadget porn it's like Y- you know, it's an expression of your crazy bullshit. Uh, if you've ever played Gadget in any form of RPG, if you've ever based an NPC off Gadget and no one was surprised. So if you forget, this this thread is supposed to be, uh, you know your obsession for Gadget gets abnormal when... And uh, yeah, I would I would describe this as somewhat abnormal. I would describe this as astutely abnormal acutely even uh thanks it's amazing how deeply personal some symbols can become uh thanks very much i do appreciate it and yes it is difficult to grasp the concept of being too much of a gadget file so this page this this thread has 67 pages i need you all to know this i i need you all to see this here and know that there's 67 pages of this uh some more first you buy all gadget merchandise that you can get and then when you still have money and space left maybe you go on with the other rangers making gadget angry means making you angry nobody does that and gets away with it how do you make a cartoon angry Uh, okay uh you dream of a saint gadgets day when everybody shall wear lavender you hate angst fiction stories because they mostly deal with gadget angst, and you can't stand her suffering. You can't remember the color of your wallpapers since you've covered them completely with gadget art. You're looking for a really big apartment to hang up glossy, high-quality gadget art prints in solid gold-plated frames? Gadget deserves only the best. The word glossy sometimes ends up in a typo. Golly, happened to me. When your pet mouse falls in love with a French dog. Somebody's quoting this guy's weirdo fucking story. Where's part two? Part one is all there was, at least so far. Ray, your poem mentioned a river walk and you're from Texas. This is set in San Antonio. In large part, yes, but it's sort of a dream version of it, all mixed up with other places I've been. Imelda and I were there. Man, how fucking sad is it to be this guy's wife? He goes off in this whole in this story about how lonely he is and how alone and nobody gets him or whatever. And meanwhile, his wife is there. Like, what? I think she can probably leave him. I'm sure she has the green card at this point. <laughs> Fucking hell! Is it love? Is it is it like Stockholm syndrome? Is it is it is it money? Gadget hack wrench is here. Oh God. Somebody has a fake gadget hack wrench profile where they pretend to be this character. And they only have 45 posts, so they're very elusive. Hi, gadget. Another sleepless night. Well, at least come here is the best you can do. I think she could do better than come from this place. I'm sure I'm sure she can find much better come than the Acorn Cafe. Midnight realizes he he's answering gadget and it's happening in real life and not in the self-inserting fan fiction. 
He would smile back at her if he didn't smile that rarely. He takes a look around through the cafe to see how everyone reacts. Okay, everybody. Could you try to get your gadgephilia a bit under control while she's here? Yes, I know most of her visits happen in fan fictions, and she hasn't been here in quite a while in reality. Hey, Camp, some of the best, l some of the lurkers seem passed out. Will you fix some drinks for them? Midnight can still not believe. How old do you think the person was who wrote this? What do you think was the age of the person who wrote this at the time that they wrote this? Because I feel like if you're above, it's like the it's like the Doug Walker thing last night. I don't care what year you posted this. If you're above a certain age, you should know better. You should just stop and look at the thing that you have made. And you should just, like, ask yourself if it's really worth this. If, if this is a really a good idea. Uh, Midnight can still not believe what has just happened. He decides to extend the list. Uh, okay... Man, she's even she the character that's the, the the person playing the gadget character. I just realized, even said it herself. You amaze, humble, and frighten me. Often, all at the same time. Yeah, I'd be pretty fucking frightened if I was this character. Holy fucking shit. Uh, gadget plushie. And let's jump ahead to page sixty-seven. What happens? What's going on here? Can we get this shit to page 69? This guy is still posting here! Well, no, he was. This was in October... This was in August of 2011. So this is like... F uh, this is like three years... Th three to four years after... Uh, the 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 first pages that we were reading there. But it is... It, is re it has been recently bumped. That's some posts from 2012. Hasn't it been recently? Oh, I thought it was recently bumped. Okay, well, that's weird. But yeah, this, this thread's kind of dead, but, uh, I mean, it lasted for several years at least. You're downright disturbed by the great and powerful Trixie of MLP FIM fame because you can't stand seeing a show-off like her with Gadget's German name. It's Trixie. Like, how, how could we have guessed that this guy would be a fucking f My, My Little Pony fan? How could we have guessed that? I, I don't know. I don't know how we could have seen that coming. Bump. And you're looking online for used cars to buy and you cringe for every two reasons. Or you cringe for two reasons every time you read the phrase, a great car that works with no problems. A. It's instinctive and generally life-saving to duck when this phrase is heard. B. Gadget has obviously joined the dark side. She's in, the, she's in with the salesman. Somebody's got a gadget, like, ringtone. And you can, like, get the gadget ringtone, everybody. If you want if you want a gadget ringtone for your phone, you know where to find it. Have a nice listening. I said she is an angel from heaven. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know your obsession for gadget gets abnormal when you buy a white mouse from the pet store just so you can dye its head fur blonde and make it wear a little lavender jumpsuit regardless of the mouse's gender. I, I don't care if it's a mouse. That is that is some shit. That is some animal abuse shit. I don't, I don't like this. What's going on in the chat now? No oh god. Oh no, no, no. Oh god. Yikes. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a fucking yikes. I'm gonna go with the fucking yikes on that one. I've been, I've been watching some Eddie Burback lately. <laughs> no god. Play the ringtone. Am I still down for VidCon? You know, I wasn't down for VidCon, but I was actually, I just said I was watching some Eddie Burback recently, and he had this thing, this was from a couple years ago, uh, where he was saying, like, uh, come to VidCon, where you're gonna see, and he had this list of YouTubers, and I liked all of them, and I'm like, oh god, 
I like I I I'm a U- I'm a I'm a VidCon target demographic. I I'm the tar I am the target demographic for VidCon now. I want to meet Nakey, Jakey, and and Danny Gonzalez. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe I might be down for VidCon. That that could happen. Uh, I need a I need a passport first. Imagine having a conversation with some autistic brony bumping in and starting talk talking about Trixie. <laughs> How the hell is Hackwrench a German name? She's a cartoon, you damn lunatic. No, I think the German name is Trixie was the idea. Um, we need an adult. No, you don't understand. They are all adults. That's the, that's the problem. If this was all just children who are in love with a cartoon character, that's fine. That happens. That's happened to probably a lot of us in the chat. That happens. But these are old, grown-ass people, many of whom have wives and lives. Virgins for lives, despite the wives, and they, <laughs> and they're still in love with Gadget Hackwrench. Uh, sixty-seven fucking yeah, thousand plus year year old dragon lolly. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, um, I want to take one more look here at the Acorn Cafe. We've seen the the Ranger related discussion. We've seen a couple choice threads. Uh, we do have the storyboard here. This could be exciting. Of mice beyond mayhem. Indies Ranger Minute Escape to Fanon. Reboot story, rough draft of Castle of High Magic. MSTing of He Who Laugh Uh oh. You mean like Mystery Science Theater? Is this what? Oh god, what is this? Oh, what the fuck is this? I see MST. I was expecting this guy to be like, like Retsu praying over a fucking like video or something. Song fic for gadget. Why can't I cry? Well, this is a very active, huh? Huh. Okay. Song. Right. Originally song by Tom Jones. Wait, Tom Jones. Isn't that our guy? No, that's Ray Jones. Never mind. Maybe this is the brother. Originally song by Tom Jones. Uh, Why can't I cry? Lonely. I don't know how this song goes. Lonely am I. Only my thoughts crowd the room. Why can't I cry? Time passes me by. The cold touch of dawn tells me so. Still I can't cry. What does this have to do with... The fucking mouse. The fourth verse. Dad! Mom! You left me alone! It wasn't your fault, yet you were gone. When I so wanted you, you helped others so many times, yet here I am with broken life alone in an empty home. I, I don't know how the song goes, but I'm, I'm enjoying the version of it that I'm interpreting here. Um, Tom Jones has a wonderful, powerful voice. Uh... Right, okay. What does this have to do with the fucking mouse? This is, like, completely unrelated. Uh. MSTing of Ranger... What is that? Losing my Rangerness song parody. Time waits for no Ranger. The television is not enough. I'm a Ranger parody. Horse of another color. Uh, we gotta find Fat Cat is a loser song parody. Hmm. Oh God, what is this song? Cause Fat Cat is a loser and he is my bleep, for better or worse, and you don't care which. Cause the Fat Cat is a loser and he's my bleep. Running into trouble, you sketch. He's my bleep. What? What, uh, what is the song? Jesus Christ. All right. Beautiful hack wrench. Uh, awakening. There's 16 pages of awakening here. <whistles> oh, here it is. The beginning of my first full length fanfic. Mm hmm. Okay. Tart nothing, he said modestly. 
uh, what? Okay. Oh, I'm not reading all of this. This is like just generic garbage. I, I'm not reading all of this, but next song parody. My wife is back. Gadget beside herself. This won't end well. Abigail and the Rats of Nim. Well, don't do that to the Rats of Nim. The Acorn Cafe Book Party. Oh, fuck off. The Case of Calamity. Captors Calamity. There's just so much of this, and I can't figure out one that I want to click on and actually look at. I wish there was something from fucking what's our name? What what's his name? Ray Jones or whatever. Can we sort? I don't think we can sort. Yeah, we can. Uh, sort by uh, author. No, sort by sort by views descending. Okay. Charge of the light grenade. A fire in the belly. Gadget's surprise. Uh, what's this one? Oh, there's like pictures that we can't see. Uh, all right. Well, you know, there's fan fiction. I'm not reading through all the fan fiction. I already did the dramatic reading of the guy fucking making out with the mouse. So let's just look at the off topic here. There's a lot of fucking fan fiction covering a broad range of genres. I'm sure some of it is intensely weird and fucked up and crazy. But here is the off topic th uh, forum on this this community dedicated to worshipping Gadget, a cartoon mouse from a Disney cartoon. Uh, that was redundant. But anyways... I believe... What's this? Time for another forum game, folks. Uh, I believe you have the wrong number. I believe these are the wrong trousers. Don't ask. Just being random. I believe I'll have another drink. I believe every day is a good day when you paint. I believe that Bob Ross is the patron saint of art. I believe if you can't say anything nice about somebody, you must you must be talking about Barack Obama. Location somewhere in Nebraska. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's a good thread. Uh, latest books read. Heard Durpin. Random facts you've discovered. Uh, discovered. Discovered. Rare. Pull left or right. All right, here we go. We're going to find out the real answers. The important shit. It's like major based on seven people, it's majority right wing. So apparently the gadget hack wrench community is the next alt right swimming swamp ground filled festering with young dejected men who want to lash out against society bottom text that's 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 the rager files that's that's what the news articles are going to say uh might be a sci-fi redneck what your spaceship is outside your trailer on blocks oh jeez, it's just the same stupid fucking thread from before but now it's like in a slightly different context and it's not about the mouse Creepy ammunition plant gets a new lease on life. Rip war hero and American hero John McCain. Today a hero of war and a hero of America, John McCain passed away. Huh. I'm sure John McCain is is resting well, you know, in in uh, up on that mountaintop. Knowing that a bunch of fucking yiffy furry people are uh, are like you know mourning him on this this website about uh, fucking a mouse. Okay. Um, what do we have for most uh, most viewed here? 
I'm gonna see the the top the topest tier of bullshit. Of course, we've got her derping funny photos. I wonder what kind of funny photos we're in for. Mm-hmm. Well, that wasn't funny. Get in, loser. We're going shipping. Is that funny? Oh, man. These are some seriously bottom text memes. You got to understand when you see this funny pictures thread on this website that this is a website that's been around since like 2004 at least. And many of the users are still active after all that amount of time. This person here joined in 2006 and has nearly 10,000 posts. And uh, this was posted in August of, of last year. Um, and they've got these fucking bottom text memes. Oh, when you accidentally say a curse word in front of mom. <laughs> This is like something they would show in the fucking El Ellen show. So yeah, these are like elderly people. These are pretty much all going to be like elderly gentlemen. I'm I'm assume I'm going to go so far as to assume that most of them are not female. Uh, at least you're not stuck in a fence being laughed at by a cow. Oh, that's that is some good bottom meme, mm -mm, bottom text meme, bottom meme. Yes, we got Twilight. We got Twilight memes. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the most disgusting thing I've seen all day. Alright, I'm I'm good on that. Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at people's desktops. What do we got on the the desktops here for for uh the, the, the gadget people? Most of these are like not available, so that's unfortunate. Twy's library forever. Oh, God. This guy's Russian, too. For some reason, the the Russians sure have a thing for gadget. I don't know. Photo bucket. Uh, Alright. Well, I was expecting more pictures I could actually see that weren't tiny pick. Picture not found. Ugh. That's, that's lame. Thanks, tiny pick. Last song listened to. Human picture topic. Here we go. Here we go. Now sadly these are all too old. Oh damn. These are all too old. I wanted to see some of these faces. But oh well here's one. Fernando here. And this is apparently what he looks like. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, I don't know if I believe that that's this guy. No, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Um, but 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 nice try. So most again, most of these we can't see. If we jump ahead to page eighty-seven, we probably won't see Ray Jones and such. But but we do still see people. This guy here posted this in May twenty sixteen, and we were just and this is eighty-seven pages on in this thread. And the, here here he is in the fucking first page of this thread, like ten years before that. Oh my god. So 87 pages in, right? What's going on in 86? Well, 2015 was a very rough AR for me with a lot of problems, stress, anxiety, and depression. But despite all of that, I was still trying to reach my goal of getting a job in the game industry. Oh, jeez. Please don't. Got a three job as a 3D artist at Ubisoft Toronto. Well, that explains it. That explains everything that's wrong with Ubisoft. Um, what's this picture? Oh, uh, show us the picture. Fucking hell. What? Well, what? Ah, fuck, man. Well, there's this guy. We found this guy. Gee, okay. Well, we can kind of see that. This is really unfortunate that all of these pictures are fucking dead. Oh, jeez. Is this fucking snake thing? Hey folks, I was on a nostalgia trip lately, so I decided to check the boards I was on some long time ago. And boy, was it a long time, six years. I know it wasn't polite to disappear like that, but everybody knows how it happens. Mm-hmm. 
So this is a uh, this is our boy. He's very good. He's got the newsboy hat and like overalls. This is cool. All right. Well, yeah. Can't really see too many of the pictures, sadly, because like Tiny Pick and such are just terrible, terrible services. Uh, last movie watched. Cool epic photo thread. Oh, let's get some epic photos. I know I'm down. Mm-hmm. We got some like amber from Myanmar. Cheer wine. Man, they don't have cheer wine in Canada. I've wanted to try that shit. Extermination is not an option. What is this? Oh, it's Pacific Rim. Okay. Oh god, it's Star Wars ponies. Let me die. Just let me die. Cheer wine. Huh. Okay. Gravity Falls characters watching Star Trek TNG. Oh my god, Riker is a total hunk. I like the cute android boy. And the doctor lady. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That that's that's more than enough. So that 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 was the Acorn Cafe. I think I think that's good. I'm I'm starting to slip into a coma here, uh, looking at this shit. So I'm I'm gonna move over to uh, eh. well, let's go to the other fucking Chippendale forum. Why not? Apparently this one's like a rival forum. They've got like beef with the other Chippendale people. It's not loading. Fucking hell. Well, we'll wait for that for a second then. Hang on. Take a look at the chat here. My IQ is now room temperature. Yeah, I agree. There's another forum, yes. There's a second forum. There's like an an, an enemy forum. It's it's pretty interesting. Cringe coma. Cringe! Cringe! Uh, extermination is an option. Uh, it depends on who you're talking about. Uh, Newsies remake looks lit. Hmm. Found him. Why Ubisoft? Why? Can I open this page, please? It's worked before. There you go. Uh, so yeah, this is the 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 Chippendale website. Now I think this is this encomp this encompasses more than just gadget gadgetophilia. Uh, but we're gonna go over to the Rescue Rangers thing, I guess. This is technically a di this is technically a different like group a technically a different like subset of people because this is just all chip and dale stuff this is a broader selection of weirdos what's going on actually what's going on over here i just click on rescue rangers this is just like info about okay all right well let's go back to the forum then before we do that though i'm gonna take a look at the super chats here um We've got five bucks from Elizabeth Schwartz. Came back just in time for a, dare I say it, sexy narration. I, uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, quite the, quite the narration. I, uh, had, had a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> as much as it was pretty terrible, it was, it was fun. Um, Victoria Catherine uh, with two dollars. What's good? Your new song is fucking sick. Thank you very much. I don't know if you mean the one um the one with the lyrics that I posted or if if you mean the one that I played uh yesterday on stream, but uh the, I've actually got two new songs. I'm working on putting together a bit of an EP or something. Uh maybe do some more stuff like that. And uh I I, I appreciate that very much though. That's the first music that I've composed in uh like a year and a half or something. Of course the one with lyrics is uh intensely fucking different from anything that i've ever made before <laughs> and uh it's pr pretty uh pretty spicy stuff but uh you know it's it's, uh, it's an expression of 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 uh of emotion and deep anguish at, at trash um so thank you for enjoying uh 40 rubles from steve redka i'm 12 and i keep discovering my new fetishes here Ah, I don't I don't endorse this, but I mean, you know, that's bound to happen, honestly. We start out the channel with Ashtar and then urine therapy and you know, before long we got we got rescue rangers. Um 
You can see how that kind of escalation can happen. Let's see here. Re Rescue Rangers appearances at DuckTales thing. This is not a very this is not a very active website. I don't think we'll be here for too long. Because yeah, these go back several years. Rescue Rangers nudity. Oh god. We've seen how the boys reacted to Gadget wearing completely nothing and Robot Chicken. Do they think that Robot Chicken is like canon or something? But what if Gadget managed to catch the men with no piece of clothing on? Or heck, the men stumbling onto on each other with nothing on? Well, they already don't wear pants, so... There have been a few instances during the show, namely one where Chip was changing from his nightshirt to his jacket, I believe where the monks displayed full nudity and no one batted an eye. Uh, normally, rodents' uh, parts are covered by their fur and their reproductive organs aren't prominent. The problem lies in the fact that this shows character designers and animators chose to make the female characters look more human. They had boobs, which also implied they had a vajayj that needed to be covered as well. Now compare that to The Secret of Nim, where Mrs. Brisby is nude except for her cape, and she's totally nude during the scene where she's captured and put in a cage. No one made a big stink about that. Why? Because the bodily design of a mouse was biologically on point, so it wasn't an issue. That is quite a lot of uh, st talking about just... I, I, I don't know, man. Please don't fuck any chipmunks. That's all I have to say. That is all I... That's, all, that's the only plea that I can offer. Uh, 31 Days of Halloween... Pilot scripts. Background music. Here's the new Ranger Mobile. Nostalgia Critic Rescue. Oh, God. Hello? I'm killing myself. Uh. Oh, Jesus. You'd think I would... You'd think I would be, like, immune to the pony thing at this point, but I still see them and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sakes. But, uh, now we're talking. So is this what is this is this like a did he do this video is this a, just a quote from this video or is this just a made up is this a fanon nostalgia critic video no actually hold on hold the fort real quick i have to i have to search for something now nostalgia critic fanon Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what even is this? Oh Jesus. Okay, well, you know, I was lo I was looking up nostalgia critic fan and wiki and I didn't really find anything, but I found something that was like also a little bit troubling, but anyways, yeah, this 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 board this board is a little bit boring. It's a little in it's interesting that there's apparently a fucking rival like clan devoted to the worship of of fucking gadget, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, hang hang on a second here. I do want to show. I mentioned I don't know if I well I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do have. Another big website that I'd like to show off here now. If you remember, if you were here at the beginning of the stream. Um, I showed off some, some, some images, uh, which actually don't pertain so much to the, uh, wait, what, what, what happened to the translate a website thing? What, what happened to that? Oh, don't tell me I need to use fucking Google Chrome or something. Oh, Jesus. Translate website. Oh, Jesus. Am I going to need to... Fu All right. This could work. But anyways, yes. At the beginning of the stream, I showed some pictures. I will briefly show them again. Um, such classics as the Tiki Torches, Crusading for Gadget, I guess. Uh, we got... We got this, where our boys create beautiful music 
to honor our queen. Uh, we got, of course, this one, an, a, a, an altar to gadget. Candle altar, like a, a shrine. Uh, and, of course, some more crusaders out to spread the good word and burn down the churches. And finally, a nice, lovely group photo. Uh, yes. So I showed this off at the beginning of the stream. And some of you were here for that. Some of you may have missed it. May, may have missed it, but... Uh, translating from Russian, I think. Could be Russian. But yeah, some of you may have missed it. Um, but that was discussing... Okay, yeah, this works. This, this kind of works. That was discussing a completely separate sect of the gadgephilia thing. So what we've been looking at for the majority of the stream has been um, mostly Westerners or, you know, people from all over the world who are co who congregate online to talk about their love for Gadget and the Rescue Rangers. However, there's a completely separate as far as I can tell, I'm sure there's some overlap, but as far as I can tell, there's just a completely separate group, which some people here may have heard of. In fact, some people here might be more familiar with that than with what we were looking at, but there's this group in Russia that's apparently a cult dedicated to, to Gadget. And I showed the, those pictures. That's from, from those guys. I don't think they're... I don't think that they're exactly affiliated with the other gadget people that we looked at. I think there's again, like I say, there's probably some crossover. I'm sure some of those people are on the the forums that we looked at, but but yeah, this is like a separate thing. It's a cult dedicated to fucking gadget hack wrench. Hopefully not literally fucking her, uh, because Oh, jeez. Okay, well, um yeah. I can mostly show this page. Um, there's some things that I can't show, I think, toward the bottom. But, yeah, here is a live, a Russian live journal page dedicated to uh, our, our girl. Gadget is love. And this is roughly Google translated, so please excuse if it's terrible. Turning on the TV is sheer violence. And now it would seem when faith in humanity is already lost, a savior appears who orders the artist gadget and makes us all a little happier. Thanks. So we got some like sexy gadget. Girlfriend gave on DR. Oh yeah, I bet she gives good DR. Um, we got like a gadget like sprite sheet or something. A set of wrench stickers appeared. Paid with Disney copyright and memes. Uh-huh. I wish I could pay with memes. Telegram channel about gadget appeared in nature. What? Tat Tatie Katie Holt. There were already a lot of tattoos on the rug, but the vast majority on the rug. The people. This again is Google translated, so this is going to be quite something. Uh, stuffing themselves with some kind of pictures found on the internet. Some lady got a gadget tattoo. That's beautiful. Uh, Professor ZS wrote about the sacred meaning of Shalomentseva in the essay. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? All right. Uh, one of these pictures aren't gonna show up but then we get stuff like this so again this is from this apparently this russian cult that like s s worships uh gadget i guess and that was a while ago like all the pictures from that group date back like 10 years or something or maybe more so i mean there's a chance that they're like no longer still a thing there's also a chance that it was always just a, like a joke or a meme or something uh, i've heard that too but I mean, it's at least serious enough that people made this kind of shit. These weird, like, buttons and patches and shit. And we got some more fan art and stuff. We got another sexy fucking mouse character. Uh-huh. 
I know there's a place here where I should probably stop scrolling. Gadget figure. Oh, and that's and that's where we stop scrolling. So yes, this is a live journal de dedicated to Gadget from this weirdo like Russian cult or whatever. I wish I had more info about this cult, pe the, these people, but I don't really. Uh, sadly, I uh, I I really only have the pictures, and I was surprised when I found the live journal because it seemed like. All of the information about it that I could find was just people talking about it and going, hey, there's this cult dedicated to Gadget. And uh, nobody really, like, actually linking to a site or anything like that or where they got the pictures from. But I guess this live journal is, is uh, as good as anything. Uh, yeah, so I think, I think one more thing before we go, before we, we wrap up the stream here. I have one last thing which I would like to share with y'all. With Yule. Um, wow, shit, there's 950 of you watching. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> here we find the one and only Ranger File video on YouTube. From six years ago, it is the Rescue Rangers theme song AMV. I happen to be a huge ranger file. Gargoyles is my favorite Disney afternoon show, but Rescue Rangers is my favorite of the comedic ones. It used to be DuckTales, but nowadays I find the rangers more sympathetic in their quest to help people compared to Scrooge McDuck going around the world just to get richer. DuckTales is still great, though. I just happen to prefer Chippendale now. They always had my favorite theme song, though, for Disney at least. So now that I know how to make music videos, I thought I should make one with clips from six of my most favorite episodes. Oh, what? I'm probably going to get copyright claimed for this music, so sadly I can't even play that. I thought this was going to be like a fucking wake me up inside or something, but no, it's just like a clip show from... Okay, well this is this is infinitely less hilarious and, and, and epic cringe bro than it probably could have been. What are the comments like? Disney afternoon forever. Beautiful. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that's the only video. Again, search for Ranger Files. That's the only fucking video on the internet. On, on YouTube, at least. Talking about Ranger Files. Outside of my stream, currently. So, uh, I've got the, I've got the market cornered, fuckers. You can't call me a ripoff on this, on this shit. God damn it. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll probably about do it for, uh, for the stream. We've had a pretty good time. I know I have, at least, reading through this abysmal nonsense. Um, yeah, this one's probably not going to get archived. Like I say, I'm probably going to be trimming this one down a bit into a video um, because I feel like the Ranger files deserve a whole video unto themselves. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let me take a look here at the chat. Well, that was funsies. Yeah, I, I agree. It was pretty funsies. Um, I came 14 times. Only 14? Oh, that's baby shit. Now this I can fab to. Uh, World War Three is going to happen, guys. Yes, that's right. World War Three is going to happen. So be sure to join my Patreon today. Because who knows how much longer we'll have. You might as well give me your money. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, yeah, apparently that's going down. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that serious. I think it could be. I mean, but we had to, to, to get into political World War Three geopolitical climate discussion real quick at the end of this stream about people who want to fuck a cartoon mouse. Uh, I, 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 we talked about this on the Discord the other day. I don't feel like there's a lot of countries that are going to go too strongly to bat for fucking, you know, Iran. Uh, I mean, there's just like some, obviously. But I also found it interesting. I looked on Twitter like the next morning after and uh, and like Trump and Putin were both trending. And I looked at well, Putin. What, what, what's going on with him? Is he against this? Is he for this? And I look at the I look at the Putin thing on Twitter and I would say there was about equal. Peop there was there was an equal amount of people claiming that uh, that. Putin was going to get mad and nuke the United States because of what Trump did 
there was an equal amount of people claiming that as there were claiming that Putin made Trump kill the Iranian guy. It's it's it kind of seems like people just wanted to shit on on Putin and Trump for some reason. <laughs> they didn't really have a good like they didn't really know exactly what was going on, but they just wanted to you know get get that in there. Uh, but I think what we can all agree on is that at the end of the day, it was most likely actually Russian bots. Um, but anyways, um, back to the chat here. We're about to peak. Uh, thank you for the enlightenment and madness today, Deadwing Dork. Oh, you're welcome. Once again, at least you're not these people. Um, oh, whoa, well, you're Ranger File Famous. Claw yes. I am. Th I have got the market fucking cornered on Ranger Files. I don't want to see any of you fucking bitches coming along, any of those fake fucking little stinkers out there who want to make a video about Ranger Files. I have got the market cornered, okay? Let the fucking record show. I literally own these people's lives, and nobody on the internet is allowed to talk about them now without explicitly crediting me and my stream, motherfuckers. This is where we are now. I'm obviously joking. <laughs> I'm obviously joking. It's, I would love it if more people talked about these these interesting lads because I'm sure there's a lot more to say that I did not cover. Uh, are you familiar with Silver the Hyena? No, I'm not, but that sounds exciting. Uh, Ulu, uh, join the cult. Uh, if I was going to join a cult, it would be Unicult. I'm sorry. I I'm I'm devoted to only one religion in my in my in my heart. In the toilet, watching this. Gadget is a mouse, bra. Yeah, just like uh, Midna is a cat. You're right. Katie Holt is a character from Voltron. She's 14. I mean, when has that stuff? How old is Gadget supposed to be? I'm I'm guessing Gadget's not above the age of consent. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out on a limb on that one. I don't think I think if the being a mouse thing doesn't matter, the being underage thing probably also doesn't matter to these people. At least the art is better. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I have to say. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, this might be some crazy fucked up shit, but uh, the guy's art is at least kind of interesting. I mean, it's 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 a bit mental, uh, but it's it's kind of interesting. Um, let me see here. Asuka is 14, yet all of these neckbeards fat. I mean, it's anime. It's like, what? what is the age of lines? It's kind of, it's 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 nebulous, so I, I can at least see that a little bit. But the mouse thing is a little bit harder to, to ignore. Um, we live in a society. Um, little stinkers, yes. Gadget is Putin's waifu. I believe it. Um, Putin is a ranger file. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Of, that's enough of the chat. Uh, we got two bucks here, by the way, from Goof Troop, who just says, "Okay, Coomer." Where was Goof Troop during this entire stream? This was a perfectly Disney stream. We need some people in chat who 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 self-identify as ranger people. That, that's what we need from now on. But uh, but thank you. Um, and yeah, I think that'll about do it for the stream. Thanks everybody for for stopping by and um yeah uh penis take care
No, you will not steal this content, Dan Hurd. I see you there in chat, thinking the stream is over. Thinking you can just steal my content like that. You fucker. As we speak, I'm tracking your IP with uh, my network of secret Power Ranger spies. I mean, rescue ranger, whatever. 